Yeah, I thought it was a good professional performance um, in the end. I thought the second half, we kind of started getting more back to our, our structures and our systems, and that, that, that's what we asked of um, today. We want, we want to use it to get back to putting some of our um, system back in place because we just fell off them a little bit in the last few games. I suppose the only disappointment was Ed Chamberlain. That didn't yeah, the, the try and obviously Ed's the, the, the disappointing one. We don't know where he's at, to be fair. We'll find out tomorrow. His ankle, to, presumably. Um, his knee, it looks like. Knee. Yeah, so we're just hoping it's nothing major. It's not like an ACL or anything like that. But Wasn't he out with a knee injury earlier this season? Was that the same thing? Um, six weeks, he was out for about six weeks, wasn't he? Yeah, he did right at the beginning of the yeah. season. Because um, he was looking good in pre season and then he broke. I don't know whether that was ankle, that one. But I think that was his ankle, and then he's uh, obviously done his knee now. So he's been doing great for us as well, Ed. He's, he's been a great signing, really, to be fair, for the club. Um, so hopefully he'll, he'll not be too bad, although it does look a little bit loose at the moment. Yeah. Were you pleased with how you guys maintained the intensity in the second half? You saw how much it meant to Jackson Hastings when you yeah. brought him off, but I guess from a coach's point of view, was that kind of pleasing to see yeah. how much he wanted to be out there? Yeah, he, he wants to play. He's a rugby league player, Jacko, and he wants to play and he wants to play every minute of every game. But we've got two big games coming up at Easter against Warrington and Wigan, and he'd done his job. He'd done his job. He didn't need to do any more than that. Just, that's what we've just been talking about in there, funnily enough, uh, between me and Jacko. And, and, and he knows, he gets it. He just. He's passionate, he, want, he wants to play, and he wants to play every every minute of every game, so yeah, that's fine. He, like I say, he was disappointed that he, come, he came off, but he'd done his job, and to be fair, I thought the team kept in the same systems after he came off as well, which was even more pleasing, really, because when Jacko's been off in the past, we've fell away from it and struggled, and I think that was probably credit to young Josh Wood. I thought he stepped up and did really well there. Speaking of the Easter double header, coming up, did a cap tie like this kind of come at the perfect time yeah. to just kind of a bit of a circuit breaker after four losses in the league? Circuit breaker and now blow up for a big double header? Yes, because it, in them games we've not been kind of too far off. We've been competing in them all. We've just we've been missing little bits. We've had a little bit of a discipline issue last week and a little bit of execution. We opened Hull up oof, loads of times last week and I think we, we, we made about 10 breaks to their one in the game. They didn't actually open us up, they scored some rubbish tries, uh, which again we've conceded one of them again tonight, which we're not happy with. Um, but as far, far as kind of the attack was going, we've been opening teams up and we've not been struggling in that department. We've just And defence has been good in the last parts of the game as so, well. It's just been them little lapses of concentration against the, the, the smart players, if you like, that have caught us out. And that's probably a little bit of experience thing. Our, our edges are a little bit young. Um, in terms of experience, but we're getting that back now with people like Junior coming back, um, obviously Chris Wellham, um, Christian Inu bringing him in as well, so we're getting a little bit more experience on them edges as well, so a little bit more smarts. Were you pleased with how you managed to shuffle things around there? It looked like at times Jake Boo might have played three or four different positions. Yeah, he did. But are you pleased with what you could get out of that and what you could get in different? Yeah, massively. The, the minutes for Logan Tompkins was massive. Uh, Josh Wood was huge for us for getting him back out there and getting through the game. That'll do his confidence. Um, no end to that. Um, Obviously, the other little bits of Bibbe trying him in the back row, which he played against Hull in the back row for the second half as well. Just gives us extra options and being able to utilise people a little bit more. And I said Ben Nack ended up going into the back row as well um, later on, as well as Tyrone McCarthy. So we've got players who we know we can shuffle around. Um, today was a good exercise to be able to utilise that. Does that show the benefit of bringing someone like Chris Newton for the kicking as well when he yeah. had to go off? Yeah, I think he's just nailed the kicking slot there, hasn't he? <laughs> so yeah, I think uh, Castleford found one with uh, Matua, didn't he, last week as well? I think. Kristen's always been a good goal kicker as well, so he'll he'll step up into that role now for us. I think uh, Tompkins and Wood played well tonight. To give you a bit of selection headache moving yeah. forward. Yeah, yeah. Um, they they came in. I said after the whole game we were making changes because he wasn't happy with a few certain things, and guys had to step up and take their opportunity. And some of the guys who've been left out tonight have been left out because they've not performed. To be fair, and guys coming in have had to put their hand up and say that they're ready here to play. So. Like I say, we, what you can't do at a club is guarantee people shirts. People have got to want to compete for it all the time. And it doesn't matter whether you're a senior pro or whether you're a young guy coming through. You've got to be competitive and want to hold your shirt. And that's consistency every week. It's no good playing well one week and having two kind of average games. 
what we want is as a club is we want to be good every single week so we can compete with the top teams and that's what we ask of the players so Logan and Woody coming in today and getting good minutes was brilliant for us yeah I thought the intensity was, was there as well is that the kind of thing you wanted to doubt this game yeah that, that was it and um, getting back to some of our systems um, our processes were the big thing we're talking about like kind of building our foundations early in the season and I know we're kind of a third way in now but you're always trying to build your your foundations going forward so it sets you up for success later on and I think we've We've done really well to it today. We've got back on it today, especially second half when we got a bit more confidence back in as well. So that served as a really good purpose for us today. Brilliant, thanks. Good. Cheers.